Hey everyone, what is going on? So we have another counting guide for you, and this chart was made by my friend Seven Evans, so a link will be in the description down below to his Twitter page if you want to definitely go ahead and follow him or support him on Patreon, you could do that. Uh, amazing graphs, thank you so much for giving me permission to use these as always, I really do appreciate it. But uh, yeah, I mean all these Pokemon, well, close to all of them, pretty much all of them, I think, were on my chart to Pokemon that you definitely want to look out for that I made for the Holiday Cup. Some really good options, I think, you know, the S+, plus, S tier, A tier, etc. So, uh, yeah, pretty much all these Pokemon are on that chart, I believe. So, definitely ones that you want to keep in mind. So, we're going to go over them and see some of the counts that you may want to be on the lookout for. Uh, how many fast moves it takes to get to a specific charge move. You know, you get the drill. You, we've done this before with uh, Seven Evans' amazing graphics. So, uh, okay, let's go ahead and get started. So first up, we have Alteria. Now, Alteria is a Pokemon that's difficult to count, so I can't count Dragon Breath, as you guys know. But if you can, it takes 15 Dragon Breath attacks to get to a Sky Attack, and then 20 to get to a Dragon Pulse. So that is going to probably be the moves that you see if you see in Alteria. Next up we have Obstagoon with counters, so it takes 5 counters to get to Night Slash, 5 to get to Cross Chop, and 11 to get to Gunk Shot. So I mean this could go either way, you'll definitely see the Night Slash, but Obstagoon could run counter, it could also run Gunk Shot, so does it have a nuke move, does it not? But uh, definitely figure that out when you're battling it, I think you will see a lot of Obstagoon. Uh, so next up we have Alolan Marowak, so Alolan Marowak has Fire Spin, so it takes 4 Fire Spins to get the Bone Club, uh, 5 to get the Shadow Bone, and 8 to get the Fire Blast. You could also see Shadow Ball, which I believe, that's 6 Fire Spins, right? So, I mean, you could really see any moveset. I don't, I mean, I, I'm probably going to run this one, I'm probably going to run Bone Club and Shadow Bone, but yeah, you could see any moveset on this Alolan Marowak. Uh, next up we have the Universe Stunfisk, I really like this one, it could have Mudshot or Thundershock. So basically, whichever fast move you have, it takes 5 to get to Mud Bomb and 5 to get to Discharge. So whichever move that uh, Stunfisk has, it's going to take 5 to get to those moves and that is going to be the move set that you will see on the Universe Stunfisk for sure. Uh, this is another Pokemon I really like for this uh, Holiday Cup, so you'll definitely be seeing me stream with this Pokemon or use it in videos for sure. No doubt about it. So next up we have Mandibuzz with Snarl as a fast move, so 4 Snarls to get to Foul Play, 5 to get to Shadow Ball, 4 to get to Aerialaze, so all good moves on Mandibuzz. I'm probably leaning towards L Foul Play and Aerialaze, but Shadow Ball is good as well. Uh, but the other two moves uh, provide stabs, so uh, yeah. But that's Mandibuzz for you. Next up we have Victory Bell or Shadow Victory Bell. So you can see the double Razor Leaf uses in this cup. Uh, Bass Shield on is not eligible. But uh, you can maybe put it with another bulky tank if you find one. So it does have Razor Leaf, another difficult move to count. So it takes 9 Razor Leafs to get to Leaf Blade, 13 to get to Acid Spray. So yeah, I'm sure people will probably find a really good team with Shadow Victory Bell. I know I know you guys probably don't like it, but it's a good Pokemon, right? It's a good Pokemon, and you definitely might see it. Uh, next up, we have Vigoroth. So Vigoroth is going to be really common as well. It does have counters, so it's five counters to get the Body Slam, nine to get the Bulldoze. So that will be the moves that you see on this Vigoroth for the most part. And yeah, really solid pick. It's going to be a really safe switch uh, for the most part. Uh, yeah, it's just such a safe switch, such a good Pokemon. Obviously, the ghost types like Alolan Marowak will be walling the counter and body slam, so you really have to go for Bulldoze. So, it can run into a wall like that, but other than that, for the most part, it is going to be a solid pick. Next up, we have Frostlass, a really strong ice type and ghost type Pokemon with Powder Snow. It is really squishy, but it's really powerful. It takes six. Powder, uh, powder Snow is to get to Avalanche and 7 to get to Shadow Ball. So this is another good safe switch, I believe. Uh, just even if they counter with a Alolan Marowak, uh, if you, you're ahead on energy, you could spam those Shadow Balls. You could possibly bait uh, with Avalanche, but those Shadow Balls are just going to be coming super fast. And Alolan Marowak is going to have to shield, right? So really powerful Pokemon, as as I said. So next up we have Lantern with Spark. It could also have Water Gun, but if you go with Spark, it takes seven Sparks to get to Thunderbolt and ten to get to Hydro Pump. So this one I think is going to be pretty good as well. I mean, it's walled by Grass types, so it, it, this could be on the spicier end of things, I guess. But um, you know, we'll have to see uh, how people decide to run it. But uh, yeah. 
yeah, I mean, it is World Bike Rest Ties, but I still think it's going to be good. A Wiggly Tough is one, not the only charm, but one of the only charm uses. Uh, it has charm, and then it takes 10 charms to get to Ice Beam and 10 to get to Play Rough. So, yeah, very powerful Pokemon. I mean, charm is resisted by a couple things. It's resisted by Alolan Marowak, right? Uh, Charizard Fire types in general and Poison types if you run into like the Shadow Victory Bell or like Golbat or something like that and as well as Steel types like Magnezone and Skarmory, of course. But, uh, I'll, you know, it's really, it's neutral against a lot of other things so it's really a powerful Pokemon, I believe. Uh, next up we have Galvantula with, um, it does have Volt Switch of course, so 3 Volt Switch to get to Discharge and 3 to get to Lunge. We've seen Galvantula in the Open Great League, so we, we've also seen it a little bit in the Ultra League. We know how, how good this Pokemon is. Uh, so next up we have Drift Blim with Hex, so 4 Hex to get to Icy Wind and 5 to get to Shadow Ball. So really good Pokemon. I uh, want we'll to see how many players use it in the Holiday Cup, but I think it probably will be a pretty good pick. Uh, next up, we have Diggersby. So Diggersby, if you don't really have a good IV one, could, in theory, reach um, like 1500, 1499, something like close to 1500 at level 40. But if you give it extra larger candies, if you have a really good IV, PvP IV one, you could get it, um, you know, beyond that and get it tankier uh, as it continues to level up, like level 45, whatever it happens to be. I'm not sure of the exact counts, but if you do give it extra large candies, this is going to be a really thick boy, I believe. So, um, yeah, it has Mudshot. It's basically a Groudon in the Great League. It has Mudshot, as I said, so five Mudshots to get the Fire Punch and eight to get the Earthquake. So really good Pokemon. Uh, if people have it, if they have it, I think you're going to see it. Uh, I think you're going to see it, especially if they have one with the extra large rare candies. But we'll have to see uh, how many people do. Next up, we have the Snowy cast form. So Powder Snow, five Powder Snows to get to Weather Ball super fast. We've seen Weather Ball do really well in previous cast forms, right? Or in other cast forms, and then tend to get to Blizzard. So super fast. Uh, in that weather ball. I I'm probably leaning towards Frost Last, but Cast Form is a good one as well if we're talking Ice types. Uh, so then we have Skarmory. So Skarmory with Air Slash, 5 Air Slash to get the Sky Attack and 7 to get the Brave Bird. Gonna be the moves that you see if you're running Skarmory or if you're going up against Skarmory. Uh, it's walled by Steel types, of course. It always is. <laughs> it's also walled by Lantern, I guess. But uh, still a powerful Pokemon. Then we have Charizard with Fire Spin or Dragon Breath. You could see either one. Five Fire Spins, or no, four Fire Spins to get to Dragon Claw and five to get to Blast Burn. And then if it has Dragon Breath, it's going to take 12 Dragon Breath to get to Dragon Claw and 17 to get to Blast Burn. So keep that in mind uh, if you're counting Charizard. But uh, yeah, Fire Spin going to be doing well against the Ice types that are going to be really common. So I do think Fire Spin will probably be the preferred move set on Charizard if you come across it, but we'll see. Another Ice type going to be a Bomb Snow with Powder Snow, so super powerful Pokemon. Five uh, Powder Snows to get to Weather Ball and seven to get to Energy Ball. So we've seen we've seen a Bomb Snow quite a bit. We know how strong it is. So next up we have Haunter or Gengar. So with Shadow Claw. 5 to get to Shadow Punch, 7 to get to Sludge Bomb, and 7 to get to Shadow Ball. So, Haunter and Gengar both have the, the same moveset. I think it's Gengar you mostly see in the Ultra League, and Haunter mostly in the Great League, but Gengar can participate in the Great League as well. It adds a little bit more bulk compared to Haunter, but the attack isn't as high. I, I like Haunter a lot, but um, both of them are good. Alolan Gravel is going to be another common one, another Volt Switch user. So Volt Switch, 3 Volt Switch to get to Rock Blast, and 4 to get to uh, the other move. Uh, what move is that? I can't see. Rock, rock Slide? Is that? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I think that's Rock Slide, right? I think it is. But if it's not Rock's Throw, maybe? I'm not sure. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I'm not too... <laughs> uh, but you can see on the, on the chart. But anyway, we have Magnezone. So Magnezone has Sparks. So five Sparks to get to Mirror Shot and six to get to Wild Charge. Another powerful Pokemon we might see. Dugan is another Ice type. So really a solid pick. It has Icy Wind. So... Or Ice Shot, excuse me. So five Ice Shots to get to Icy Wind and six to get to Water Pulse. So Dugan is really good. Uh, it does lower the attacks with Icy Wind, right? Ice Shot, Icy Wind is really powerful. So probably one that you'll come across as we continue to play the Holiday Cup. Whimsicott 
out with Charm. It takes 9 Charms to get the Grass Knot, 10 to get the Moon Blast. This could also have Razor Leaf, so if we're talking double Razor Leaf uses, as I mentioned earlier, you might see it. Then we have Golbat or Shadow Golbat with Wing Attack, so 5 Wing Attacks to get the Poison Fang, and 8 to get the Shadow Ball. So we'll have to see how common Golbat is. Then we have Snorlax with Lick, so 12 Licks to get the Body Slam, 22 for Earthquake, and 14 for Super Power. So... I'm thinking Body Slam Superpower, but, you know, Earthquake is good as well, so we'll have to see, we'll have to see, obviously, in this meta, Superpower is resisted by, like, the Flying types, it's resisted by the Ghost types, but it's also doing super effective damage to the Ice Pokemon, as well as the Normal types, so, uh, gonna be really solid. Then we have Venusaur with Vine Whip, so 6 Vine Whips for Frenzy Plant, 7 for Sludge Bomb, we've seen Venusaur quite a bit. Sableye, Extra Large Rare Candy, definitely to power this one up. Uh, I don't know the, the good IV you want on this one, but, uh, you know, if you have it invested in, if you have the rare candies or the extra large rare candies, Sableye is one to look out for with Shadow Claws. Six Shadow Claws to get the Foul Play, eight to get the Power Gem. Then we have Electivire with Thundershock. So five Thundershocks to get the Ice Punch, seven to get the Flamethrower, and five to get the Wild Charge. Flamethrower is, is the Community Day move, but it's not really the move that you're probably going to see. So, I mean, it does well against the Ice types. So in this cup, maybe you would go for Flamethrower over Ice Punch, but uh, Ice Punch generally is good. And obviously Ice Punch can hit like Altaria, so uh, yeah, there we go. And then we have Alolan Ninetales with Charm, so 8 Charms to get the Psy Shock and 10 to get the Ice Beam. So this is the infographic by 7 Evan. definitely go ahead and give him a follow. He's an amazing content creator and streamer as well, and if you want to support him, you could do that as well. So anyway, that's going to be it for this one, guys. I will see you in the next video. I hope you all have a good day. Thanks for watching. Bye.